Thank you very much for coming on a uh, beautiful Cleveland Spring uh, day. We're going to try to get right to it because it's a little cold and we don't want to delay the construction schedule. But I very much appreciate you coming here. There's a lot of people that are uh, here on stage with us that are some of the key partners we have for our new convention center hotel. We have very distinguished guests from, uh, besides the elected officials, uh, Council President Kelly and Councilman Brady and Mayor Jackson and others, but we also have folks that we're working on with this from the nonprofit and the private sector, from the Greater Cleveland Partnership, uh, Positively Cleveland, the Port Authority, Cooper Carey, who are our architects uh, on this project, uh, Ozan uh, Constructions, Van Auk and Aikens, uh, Turner Construction, of course, and of course, uh, Hilton uh, Worldwide. Uh, this construction project is another step, and it is a major step in the continuing renaissance of downtown Cleveland. And it is important that we are having this by coincidence. This wasn't by design, but I think it's important that today is Workers Memorial Day. And that's a day that has been established, not always observed, but it was established to recognize the importance of workplace safety, but also uh, to pay a living wage and honor those who uh, have been injured or lost their lives in a construction project. And it is important to note that this project not only is a huge step forward in Cleveland's continuing rebirth, uh, but is also going to employ 2,800 uh, construction workers. And when it's open, this new hotel is going to employ approximately uh, 450 uh, individuals. And we are committed to making sure that all of those individuals involved in the project are going to be paid a living wage. We're also committed We're also committed to uh, diversity as well. With Turner Construction, we've established a voluntary inclusion uh, plan that's going to inc include at least 25% small businesses um, and at least 7% women-owned businesses and 15% minority-owned businesses. The project is also committed uh, to employing at least 40% Cuyahoga County residents and at least 20% City of Cleveland residents. Um, it's a, going to be a unique facility, and not just because of its size, although that's part of it. It's going to be a 28-story uh, facility with about 600 guest rooms. Those are going to be positioned above four stories of a lobby, ballrooms, meeting space, uh, and retail space. And it's unique because of its proximity and its connection to the assets that we already created right next door. First of all, the Global Center for Health Innovation. It's the only facility in the world that displays the future of healthcare innovations. It's already including companies like Cardinal Health and Cisco Systems, GE Healthcare Systems, Johnson Controls, and Phillips Healthcare, not to mention uh, the Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, Metro, and the Sisters uh, of Charity Health System. Uh, Cleveland area startups in the medical field have already brought more than $200 million in investments to this area in the last few years. We can completed both of these structures months ahead of uh, the deadline, something we hope to uh, recreate here, and millions of dollars under budget. There's over 1 million square feet of a meeting space, exhibition halls, 35 meeting rooms, 32,000 square foot uh, ballroom, and just in the last six months of 2013, it hosted more than 100 different activities in 150,000 visitors. Cleveland hasn't had this kind of capacity to host major events, whether they be in the medical field or the, or the sporting field or anything in between, um, for many, many, many decades, really. And if you look at what most people would say the, what, what the golden age of Cleveland was, we could host events like that. We were known as a place where uh, we could handle a national stage or even a world stage. And we're starting to create that again. That's what's so exciting about this. It is not a coincidence that we are one of the cities that is a finalist for both the Democratic National Convention and the Republican National Convention. It's because we're starting to show the capacity to do these great things. We're just as ambitious and we're just as, as competent as generations of Clevelanders past. There's already more than 200 events that are scheduled at the convention center just between 2014 in 2019, there's more than 170,000 visitors that are expected in 2014. That's going to turn into $82 million uh, for Northeast Ohio. So 
those that were visionary enough to imagine this have been vindicated. Those who were tasked, like myself and our team here, to making it a reality and bringing it in on time and under budget uh, have also been vindicated, and we proved that we can do it. But we're continuing to challenge ourselves to keep developing the next step, and that's what this project um, is all about. Um, it clearly is a team effort, and I want to introduce uh, a couple. We don't have time to hear from everybody who's, who's worked so hard on this, uh, but I do want to recognize our, our primary partners in this uh, entity. I, before I go any further, too, I want to thank um, Councilman Brady and his colleagues who are here. I see Councilman Miller here and Councilman Jones and Councilman Germana, and there may be others that I don't immediately, uh, immediately see here. But this has been um, an undertaking of, that has, has required a, a certain degree of entrepreneurial spirit and, and tolerance for risk and, and bravery in, in the public sphere, and they have done that. County Council has done that and, and partnered with us in that. Uh, it was uh, some months ago, actually, actually it was about a year ago, that Mayor Jackson and I stood side by side, side to announce this project. And, and, and what we said at the time was we were not interested in just uh, making vague plans or aspirational ideas. We wanted to talk about a timeline. We said, you know, what really inspires people is not speeches, as I may have proved in the last few minutes. What inspires people <laughs> is things getting done, things happening, saying you're going to get something done and doing it. We said we were going to do this a year ago. We're doing it. We're getting it done. Uh, and so I'm glad uh, that we've had that that great partnership with the city of Cleveland, and it's it's my privilege at this point uh, to introduce to you uh, the mayor of the city of Cleveland, uh, Frank Jackson. Mayor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good. And how are you doing? Good. Good. You know, um, I want to congratulate the county uh, for this on this day, and really thank the county executive Fitzgerald for his leadership. Uh, because it it was then and it is now uh, him who is really driving this. You know, as we look at Cleveland, particularly downtown Cleveland, uh, probably Square, the malls, um, uh, the pedestrian bridge, the lakefront plan, uh, this hotel is essential for its success. It's, it's just one part, but it's an essential part of that success and the success of this convention center and uh, uh, the Innovative Health Center. Uh, it is also, as the county executive said, uh, in the short term, essential and key in our bid for uh, one of the conventions. And I again want to uh, congratulate the county, but in particular, I want to thank the county executive for his, his leadership and his vision on this. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I want to recognize uh, and welcome to the podium, uh, uh, Ted Ratcliffe, the Senior Vice President of Operations for Eastern North, uh, North America for Hilton Worldwide. I just want to let all of you know that behind the scenes, we went through a process where there were six operators. All of them were nationally uh, renowned, internationally renowned, and, and our team uh, of both private consultants and public officials chose Hilton to run this convention center hotel. And why did we do that? Well, Hilton is a forward-thinking global leader. Uh, when it comes to this uh, niche market. Um, it was founded in 1919. It includes more than 550 hotels across six continents, um, everything from the Waldorf Astoria to uh, Doubletree and Embassy Suites, Hampton Hotels, uh, to name a few. Um, it includes a total of 4,000 properties, 650,000 rooms. And, and just as important as their expertise is the fact that uh, not only do they have the team, not just to uh, to get us started, but to carry us through with all of our aspirations about this, but they also recognize and embrace our concept of making sure that the people that work here, not just the people that construct it, but the people, as you drive past this facility in years to come, you will know that it was constructed by skilled tradesmen uh, that got paid a living wage and a decent wage, and you'll know that the people that work here and operate the hotel um, are also going to be uh, making a, a, a decent wage, and, uh, and that's important to us, and it's part of Cleveland's tradition. And at this point, I want to recognize and bring to the podium Ted Ratcliffe, Senior Vice President for Hilton Worldwide. Mr. Ratcliffe. Well, first let me say that I'm, I've never 
come to one of these where the construction was so far ahead of the groundbreaking. Um, but so be it. I mean, it's great, and, and uh, we want to we get this thing open. Thank you, uh, County Executive Fitzgerald, and thank you, Mayor Jackson. Um, my Hilton Worldwide colleagues and I are really thrilled to be here because today we celebrate an important groundbreaking, groundbreaking, not only for the community in Cleveland and the county, but also for Hilton Worldwide. You know, it's been four decades since we've had a presence here in Cleveland. Uh, some of you, and going back to a little bit of the history of Hilton, um, some of you may recall back in the history of Cleveland where uh, Conrad Hilton years ago bought the Statler Hotel Company. Uh, at that time, there was a Hilton, uh, excuse me, there was a Statler in Cleveland. Uh, at that time, that uh, real estate transaction was $111 million, which represented the largest real estate transaction to date. So now, fast forward after that four decades, and we're long overdue to bring something to downtown Cleveland, uh, $270 million. Um, and uh, we uh, are really focused on making sure that we, we do it right and we have that great presence that we've been absent from in terms of our flagship brand uh, of a Hilton here in uh, downtown Cleveland. Uh, you know, I'm confident that we're going to really fit great uh, in this complex with the Convention Center and the Global Center for Health Innovation. Uh, in selecting Hilton, Cleveland is um, really is, has selected an operator with a lot of expertise. We run convention hotels um, across the country from Orlando to, uh, to San Diego, up and down and everywhere in between. Um, and we really seriously want to impact uh, what happens here, the number of conventions that come here. We know the meeting planning community looks for that connectivity between you know, convention center, um, and a hotel, and obviously we have the, the global center, which adds even up, up the ante even more. So we're really looking forward to uh, engaging our sales team to ensure that this is an overwhelming success. Um, I think it was mentioned, the county executive mentioned kind of the configuration of the hotel, uh, 28 stories, um, roughly 600 rooms, I believe it's 600 rooms. Um, kind of a 90-foot podium on the, uh, on the lower level that will house uh, all the ballroom space, um, a large lobby and public spaces, uh, fitness center, um, the indoor pool, and as has been mentioned occasionally, that ever-important rooftop bar. I think we've gotten more on that rooftop bar than, uh, than any other component. Hotel of this size is, a, is really a huge joint effort, and I want to take a moment to thank a few folks. Uh, first of all, Jeff Applebaum. You know, Jeff has really been stalwart in working with us, um, and and kind of seeing this to fruition. A lot of phone calls and and a lot of work, um, as well as our construction partners at Turner, architectural partners at VOA and Cooper Carey, as well as numerous civic and business partners, in, including the Cuyahoga County, the, the City of Cleveland, Positively Cleveland, uh, SMG Cleveland the Global Center for Health Innovation in the Cleveland Clinic. And I would also like to recognize some of my Hilton colleagues that are here today that have been very involved in this project and, and have worked hard uh, on getting it to where we currently are. Our Vice President of Corporate Hotel Development, Greg Rockett, Vice President of Operations for New Development, Tim Bridwell, Regional Vice President of Sales and, Market, Sales and Marketing, David Keyes, and Area Vice President of uh, Operations, Conrad Wangerman, and the guy who wrote this speech, our vice, <laughs> our vice president of global communications, Robert Allegrini. Finally, I would like to, you know, the, I think the county executive, um, just going off script for a minute, you know, said it well. Um, we, we, we. Uh, that's that's not a knock to Robert. Uh, um, you know, we really see it as our one of our major focuses to be part of the communities we operate in. We've been absent a long time in a major way with the Hilton Hotel here. We want to employ uh, Cuyahoga County and City of Cleveland. Um, you know, pe we want to employ people from those communities, and you know, I think that that's a main focus of ours. The diversity is a huge focus of ours, and we're just loving it. I mean, we couldn't be more thrilled to be here. So we're going to make it happen, and thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ted, for your disturbing candor and other things. Uh, I want to recognize, by the way, uh, 
uh, there was one councilman that came in after uh, just as we got started. Jack Sharon, is Jack you still here? I think he's chasing Armin Budish down the street, but I, I, I think he's here. Um, at this point in time, but he was here, so I want to thank him as well. He's been a steady supporter of this. Uh, I want to, at this time, uh, it's time for us to do some, some work, so I will invite the podium members to come to my right here, pick up a, a shovel, do some honest work for a change. Okay, if we could, everybody just turn a little bit like to the side, have the shovel ready. Nobody dig yet. Two, three. <laughs>